Wow, Bemidji, Minnesota, look at this final day championship Saturday crowd. How are you folks doing? Excited? Good. I'm excited too. And here we are. It has been a long, long journey here in 2017 to this national championship. We are down to that final day where we are about to crown some new national champions. We've got our top 12 teams who battled it out over two days. And uh, this final day, they've been out on the water and they are ready to go. I can't weigh in without our waymaster, the director of the Bass Nation. Let's bring him out. We'll chat for a second and then we'll get ready to weigh some fish. Welcome John Stewart. He's got some goodies. We're going to throw those away in a minute. Everybody got excited when they saw those blue Yamaha hats you brought out. Yeah, I love giving stuff away, and uh, we got a bunch up here. So what do you think? Final day of this 2017 College Series season. It's always fun when we get to this point, and uh, going to change some anglers' lives today. It's going to be a, a fun day. Yeah, I mean, we talked a little bit about it uh, earlier, how, you know, the anglers are nervous, I'm nervous, you're nervous, got butterflies. It's this, this final day of any tournament is my favorite time because uh, we're getting ready to make eight anglers one step closer to that Geico Bassmaster Classic. We're going to crown a champion, of course, uh, but we're going to, you know, make some dreams come true today. Uh, for these guys, and that's what you, you and I love about our jobs. It, it's fantastic. Well, and, and one thing we we do get to see a lot is where we go and our local hosts and the, 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 the main three ones here, Bemidji State, Busy Bemidji, and just the city of Bemidji, Minnesota. But, I mean, look at what they've done here, what they've allowed us to do, and just kudos to them and every single person involved. This is second to none. It's it's phenomenal. Um, what a, What a fantastic crowd. I'm sure you guys are wondering what the heck is he doing with those stupid glasses up there oh, yeah. i should have mentioned that yeah i mean you're just gonna let everybody think i'm out here wearing uh whatever kids glasses uh these are some glasses. snapchat spectacles is what they're called exactly which i have no John, do you snap i yeah like that's about the extent of my snapping uh, I do snap once in a while, like every couple months or something, but uh, these glasses supposedly record and go to the Bass Master Snap Chat site, whatever that is. I don't even know what the handle is. Do you know what the handle is? Just ba Bass Nation. Bass Nation Snap. So uh, you can all look at this. You can see yourselves uh, because I did just record you all right now, and I'm going to record you again. I'm doing it right now. I'm recording you right now, but it now gives you the bird's eyes perspective, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, I know they don't look the greatest, or maybe they do. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Should I wear them the whole way in? Yeah. I know. I think we're going to have some anglers wear them, uh, wear them a, in a little bit, but uh, I'll have them on quite a bit of the time. We'll 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 see what y'all look like going crazy for these hats here in a minute. Yeah, it's going to be fun. All right, so. Uh, Let's break down the leaderboard, and then we're going to get you pumped up and get ready to get this day underway. So we cut it down to the top 12. That last team squeaking in, La Monroe, Tyler Craig, and Spencer Lambert. Anybody here for La, La Monroe? It's a long way to go. And their mark was 22 pounds and 7 ounces. 11th place, Tennessee Tech, Sam Karras and John Berry, 23 pounds, 2 ounces. 10th place, Coastal Carolina, John Duarte and Chesley Alford. 23-4. Ninth place, your Southern Conference Regional Champions, USC, South Carolina, Patrick Walters and Tyler All with 23-12. Eighth place, one of three boats from this school, Bethel University, Brian Paul and John Garrett, 23-15. Seventh place, North Alabama, Hunter McCarty and Sloan Pennington, 24-4. Sixth place, all by himself, Colorado Mesa University, Josh Worth, 24-10. Fifth place, also from the West Coast, Chico State out in California, your Western Conference champion, Tyler Firebaugh and Chad Schweitzer with 25-5. Fourth place, another Bethel team, Garrett Enders and Cody Huff, 25-8. All right, here's your chance, Bemidji. Third place, your hometown school, BSU, Thor Swanson and Mitch Swanson. 27-7. Second place, 
Bethel University, Cole Floyd and Carter McNeil, 29-13. And led on day one, and they led on day two, trying to go wider, wire to wire at this championship. Brian College, Jacob Fouts, and Jake Lee, 34 pounds and 10 ounces. They got a little bit of a lead, but I've seen some big fish back there. I'm telling you, it is. this may be one of the more exciting uh, college championship final day weigh-ins that we've ever had. It is going to be so close. It is going to be very close. All right, we got to get your blood pumping first. Who wants some free stuff? Anybody over here? All right, if you were here yesterday, you know how this works. The crazier you go, the more encouraged John is to give you this stuff. So when I count to three, we got to go wild. We're going to be recording for ESPNU. This is all going to air later in September. So here's also your shot to get on television. So on three, the crazier you go, the better chance you have to get one of these Yamaha hats. Let's get it going. One, two, three. Over here. I've got some too. How about this? There's a big old one. The crazier you go, the better chance you have. We're giving more away. There's a few more. Who didn't get one? The big group right here. Anybody else? Anyone else? One hat left. Who wants it? There it goes. As we recorded that on Snapchat. All right. That was to get your blood flowing. Your lungs are warmed up. And now we're going to scream as loud as we can because we got to make it look exciting for the television show. I got a camera in here. I got a camera here. I got a camera there. And I got a camera there. So you stand a great chance to get on television. So we need good 10 seconds of screaming as loud as you can when I count to three. Everybody ready? All right, on three, we're going to go for 10 seconds. One, two. Three. All right. Now you guys ready? I'm ready. You ready? The scale's ready? We're ready. All right, let's get this party started. They squeaked in in 12th place, coming to the stage from La Monroe. Let's welcome up Tyler Craig and Spencer Lambert, 22 pounds and 7 ounces through their two days. All right, guys, step on up. One fish in that bag. Let's get a weight on these. One pound and eight ounces. Jumps you guys up to ninth place, Tyler. So, unfortunately, your road's going to end right here. But look at this crowd. You made it to the final day you could on this college series. So, it's been a great year for you. Absolutely. This crowd's amazing. And, uh, you know, our area just ran out of fish. There's been six boats pounding on it the past two days. So we just scrapped that and went fishing today. Any key lures this week, Spencer? We can talk fishing now. I know a lot of these folks want to know how you guys caught them. Don't have to keep that secret anymore. Oh, uh, just wacky rigs or Texas rig Senkos and frogs, pretty much. Where were, which lake were you guys fishing? We went to Stump Lake. All week, no, no other lakes? Until today. Okay. Today, where'd you go after today, or today? All over. We went fish Bemidji some, went to Irving, and back to Bemidji. So, Spencer, what, what year are you in school? What's your major? Um, I just finished my sophomore year, and I'm an ag business major. Tyler, you've been around for a little bit. You're not done, though, right? You got one more year. One more year to make it back to this national championship. Your major? I'm a pre-physical therapy major. All right, so let's get some thank yous in. Who you want to say hi to? Thanks for getting you here, Spencer. Um, thank you to my parents. They, we couldn't have done this without them. Uh, ULM, uh, just anybody that helped us along the way. Tyler? Um, first and all, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, my family back home, friends, and uh, ULM for helping us fund this. Well, the good news is it's not going to be a sweat out for you guys back there. Ninth place, us here for La Monroe. Good job, guys, making it to this final day. 
One down, 11 to go. Tennessee Tech sitting in 11th place coming into today. Let's welcome up Sam Karras and John Barry. All right, guys, step on up again, 23-2. Through your two days, you're in 12th right now. You got three more to add to it. Let's get a weight on these three. Six pounds and an ounce jumps you all the way up to third place for Tennessee Tech. So, Sam, this is going to be a good finish for you guys this week. Yeah, it was. I mean, anybody that doesn't make the top four is going to be disappointed, but you can't get there without getting to fish today. And so we were thankful to make the cut and um, have just really enjoyed the time we've gotten to be in Minnesota. Yeah, how about Bemidji on this championship Saturday? Yeah, it, it really is incredible. I didn't expect I just now looked up, actually. Good grief. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, this is incredible, really. Um, I'm hoping that I can take some of y'all's weather back to Tennessee with me. John, keys this week to getting here. Wacky worm. Anything else? Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. So where the fish weren't deep in the, you guys weren't catching fish deep in the grass, so you had to have some open water. Yeah, we, we sat off the grass a little bit, like a lot of people did, and, and I think they just got beat up. And, and so today we kind of jumped around a little bit. We tried to soak our, the few places we'd caught big fish, and it just didn't pan out. Which lake did you guys go to? Stump Lake. Any key depths that you found this week to get you here? If, normally, we found ourselves sitting in about 12 feet of water, 12 to 14. Anywhere you could still hit the edge of the grass. And uh, the grass was in how deep? Everywhere from real shallow to about, we found some in 14, 15 feet, somewhere down, somewhere down there. Well, let's get some thank yous in, John. Um, I'd like to thank JB Custom Rods, my family, uh, Bucks and Bass at Andrews, Tennessee, and Ledge Hog, and last of all, but technically first is God for letting us be here and really everybody having a good day so Sam yeah mom and dad are watching I know uh, my girlfriend Sarah my brother Christopher um, fishing partner back home Robbie Thomas hopefully he's getting to watch and um, I think it's about uh, Colbert Bates of course um, they make a great little drop shot bait of T-Rex that we threw some this week and uh, yeah just uh, pray for safety for us and the bass staff all the anglers getting back and uh, thank you all for coming out Sam thank you guy John Thank you. Tennessee Tech, good job, guys. Third place right now. Let's see where you end up. Had a great uh, tournament down at the Southern Conference Regional, and they're bringing five fish to the scales. Let's welcome up Coastal Carolina, John Duarte and Chesley Alford. All right, guys, five in there. You need 11 pounds, seven ounces to take over the hot seat. Looking for 11.7. New leaders, 12 pounds, 5 ounces for Coastal Carolina. It gives them a three-day total of 35 pounds and 9 ounces. Let's hear for your new leaders right there, John and Chesley. Guys, we'll get them in the bag, and we'll let everybody know again. We've been taking all these fish back to all the various lakes so they can be caught again. All right, John, right now your name's there, and it says first place. So that's a, it's been a great week. Yeah, it's been a great week. I, I know for sure it's not going to hold up, but I'm thankful for the fish we caught after a very tough practice and a lot of fishing pressure in a small area. Chesley, how'd you catch them this week? Um, mainly wacko, uh, Wacky Cinco, and um, caught a few punching. That's about it. So what I hear, the common theme here is we, we were thinking a lot of people were going to be punching, but the, the three teams so far were staying off the banks a little bit and throwing those uh, weightless rigged uh, soft plastics. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure with flipping and frogging, and we knew we had to lighten up. We were throwing eight-pound fluorocarbon with a wacky Senko, and we had a lot of bites behind a lot of other anglers. It's been a great year for you. I mean, we weighed in that final day down in Georgetown, South Carolina, probably our second largest crowd of the year. Until now, right here for Bemidji, the largest crowd we've had all year. So uh, you've, uh, you've uh, done well where the, the, the locals have definitely come out. Yeah, um, th these type of fisheries fit our style, shallow water, rip type of kind of like a river system here, but it has grass, and that's what we're good at fishing. What got you here, Chesley? Who do you want to say hi or thanks to? Um, say thanks to my parents for helping us make the drive up, and uh, probably thanks to our local tackle shop, Stalvey's Bait and Tackle, for... That's who provided about everything that we used to fish up here this week. John? 
Uh, I gotta thank my mom for coming down to watch me weigh in, and uh, Chesley's parents as well, and Anglers Express and the Conway Bassmasters. Dude, you guys are leading the championship. Feels good, right? Let's hear it for your leaders. They're gonna take over the hot seat. I should have said that before. Whoever's sitting there is a good thing because that means they're leading this tournament. All right, this next team coming up won at that Southern Conference Regional, and they are from the University of South Carolina. Let's welcome up Patrick Walters and Tyler All. Come on up, guys. 23-12 through two days. Five pounds, 13 ounces, jumps you up to fourth place, guys. So not going to have you. I mean, you're right on that bubble for making it into the bracket. It was still a great, uh, great week for you, great season for you, Tyler. Yeah, um, fishing with Patrick anytime is great. You know, me and him has been roommates for a long time. And this is the first year we got to fish together. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, one rod again today? One rod. Patrick, one rod. He actually threw one rod. Maybe we should have th thrown two or three or four or five or 16. I don't know. Um, we had a good tournament, you know. We didn't have a good day today. We caught a bunch of short fish, you know. But that's how it goes, you know. We're just grateful we're, we've, we've made it this far, you know, made a top 12, thanks to Bass, BMG, and this fantastic crowd out here. Um, it, that's just how it goes, though. We didn't make the bracket. You know, we got some big bags coming behind us, so we're about to have an exciting way in But... Uh, Big shout out to Falcon Boats and Yamaha Outboards. I mean, that Yamaha is the best motor on the market today. If anybody says Mercury's faster, just wait till a, a Yamaha comes pulling by you and just leaves you in the dust. But other than that, uh, thanks to my family and friends, everyone back home, everyone who supports me. You graduated, right? I graduated in December. Um, probably not going to fish next season unless the schedule looks real good. I might sign up for some grad classes. <laughs> A grad class. You might like the season next year, but first year partner with Tyler, you found you a good partner to, to finish the season with. Fantastic partner. I couldn't ask for a better partner. Tyler's just so low key. Um, he keeps you sane. You know, I'll be up there just talking, rambling about something, and he'll just, uh huh. Just, he just keeps it to himself, you know. And uh, if, you, if you want him to throw something, you know, like if you're just looking for practice, you know, just, hey, throw that trap real quick. He will throw that thing for 12 hours until you tell him to throw something else. Even if he's not catching fish, he's committed, and I couldn't ask for any better. Tyler, I mean, it's been a great year. You, uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong, first tournament you ever fished was at Southern Conference Regional, and you guys won that one, right? Right. Not a bad partner right there. So you're like, this bass fishing stuff's easy. <laughs> no, it's not as easy. You got a partner who can tell you what to throw, then it makes it a little bit easier, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to say you don't know how to catch fish. Obviously, you do. But it's uh, been a good year for you. Who do you want to say hi to or thanks to? Uh, both of our parents, they came up here. They flew up here. Um, uh, my girlfriend, Patrick's girlfriend, and everything our parents do for us. They do everything. So thank you all. Anybody you miss, Patrick? Um, just my girlfriend, family, um, Falcon Boats, and Bass. All y'all. Thank you all. USC Southern Conference Regional Champions. Great job, guys. All right. Four down. Here comes the first team up from Bethel. Let's welcome to the stage Brian Paul and John Garrett. Five fish limit. If it goes 11-11, you'll unseat Coastal Carolina. Looking for 11-11 for this Bethel team. New leaders, 15 pounds, 8 ounces. Bethel getting it done on this final day. One of three teams, and this one's sitting in the lead. Bethel University, Brian Paul and John Garrett. Hold on. Brian, John, step on over. What's going through your head right now? Ooh. Man, fourth place is the only thing up for grabs back there. And uh, it's up for grabs between us, another Bethel team, another kid back there. And it's going to be insanely close. Uh, if we'd have had one more keeper yesterday, we would have definitely done it. Um, but, man, if we can get back in that bracket one more time, it'd be sweet. And Brian, your, your dad was talking to me earlier today. Brian Paul is your last name. But oh. if you do well here, it might be Brian Paul Bunyan. Yeah, I I heard him coming down the parking lot this morning yelling it. So, no, I, uh, we had a good day today. Uh, you going to get you a blue ox? I, 
You think I can take that name one? Your, name your new dog, babe. Uh, you think I can take it on? I don't know. If you can figure out how to fit that thing in a car, that's better than I am. We'll just drag it behind the truck. What's going through your head right now? Uh, I'm nervous. I don't know. Make it back to a bracket again. Hopefully, if we do, I can catch a fish this time. Yeah, you get one more shot, and, uh, you know, it, it might be enough. That's right. Uh, I, I'm speechless. I don't know. Nervous. Let's get some thank yous in, highs, and hellos. Uh, I got to thank my parents. They drove all, they drove all night, uh, Wednesday night, and got here. It's 12 hours from our house, so I got to thank the coaches. Bethlehem University, guys, this is my last bass event, and I, I'm – I'm a nervous wreck, sorry. I, I got Bethany University, Bass. I've been with John Stewart since the juniors, and I've been with, been with you for forever, so uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I mean, he has been with Bass since he knew how to fish. And, John, you went all the way, won the classic bracket last year, so you know everything that's up for grabs here. Riding around, you guys seen that purple truck and boat. It belongs to this guy. Won that package last year, courtesy of Toyota and Yamaha and Bassmaster, so... You know what's up for grabs, and uh, does that make you fish harder? Oh, yeah, it definitely makes me fish harder. Just but being through what I was through this year, and me and Brian made the bracket last year, and you don't really realize how many doors this tournament opens. I mean, you get to fish a classic that's walking across that classic stage is, is like no other, and definitely makes me strive to fish harder, even, you know, not in these college tournaments, even through the opens. It just, you know, back your head, you don't give up, you ain't call fish, I'll practice, and you're just like, well, you know, the next spot may be the classic spot. Um, but, I mean, if we can squeak into the top four and go fish wherever y'all put us, it has to be better in this place. So uh, I'm looking forward to get out somewhere to catch fish if we make it. So All right, real quick, uh, you made it here. We didn't talk about fishing. How'd you catch them this week? Uh, we caught everything in offshore grass on a striking uh, cutter worm. Um, we're actually finding holes in the grass. Uh, there was logs and stuff pushing that grass down, a little bit of hard bottom. So uh, that's just how we caught our fish this week. Did you guys go to stump too? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we had to go to stump to catch anything. I, we got the top two. There was a fish in there. Um, but when you out, idle an hour and a half both ways, it takes away three hours of your day, and it's really hard to, really hard to do that. As far as bass fishing, yeah, I mean, it might not. It, it's still great. It's pumping out some good ways. But what about the town in terms of outdoors? I mean, look at this, look at this crowd, Brian. It is unbelievable. This is probably the biggest win I've ever been to. It's awesome. Bemidji did it. You guys are in the lead. Thanks, Let's hear it one more time for Coastal Carolina. Chesley and John, they're in second place right now. We'll see where they end up. All right. Move on down the line. This next team bringing five up to the scales. They're from North Alabama, Hunter McCarty and Sloan Pennington. Come on up, guys. Five fish in there. If they go 15 pounds and four ounces, you will take over the lead. 12 pounds and two ounces all the way up to second place for this UNA team. That gives them a three day total of 36 pounds and six ounces. And let's hear it for Hunter and Sloan, University of North Alabama, 36 pounds and six ounces. All right, guys, step on over, Sloan. So uh, good finish for you guys, 12 pounds again today. So uh, you guys figured out a little something out here. Well, I don't think we figured out enough. Uh, these guys back here, they've got them. So... Um they're going to be real tight. Um, I don't know if we'll make it, but uh, we've had a great time. I mean, and UNA is another one of those schools that consistently has a team at the top, and you guys did it again this week uh, with a top 12 finish with you guys, Hunter. How'd you catch them? Uh, we caught them on a wacky rig. Uh, actually pretty deep, like between 12 and 15 foot and some merged grass and uh, stumps and just some weird stuff. I don't actually know what all was down there. But uh, it was pretty crazy today. They kind of died. Didn't, didn't produce any for anybody, really. We caught three somehow, but not the right size. So, well, Who do you want to say hi to or thanks to? Uh, definitely my girlfriend. Today's our one-year anniversary, and I'm in Minnesota. So, yeah, she's At least send her flowers. Uh, why'd you have to say that? She's watching. She's trying to help you. You still got time. <laughs> no, I didn't send her flowers. Say hey and happy anniversary. Make up for it. Hey, happy anniversary. Um, sorry about the flowers. But... <laughs> 
Yeah, and my family and the school and all our sponsors for helping us get here this year. Sloan. Uh, I'd just like to thank my family. Um, they're the only reasons I'm here, and I'd like to thank you all for putting these events on. Guys, great job, UNA. Good seeing you guys. Travel home safely. Well, you're in second place right now. We'll see where you end up. All right. Let's go to the next team. He got here by himself through the wild card, and he's all the way from Colorado, Colorado Mesa University. Let's welcome out Mr. Josh Wirth. All right, Josh, four in there. You're in 11th place right now. 14-14 with these four will put you in the lead. 13 pounds, 13 ounces. Going to shoot Josh up to second place. If you listen to the music, that might be a little foreshadowing of what we're going to talk to Josh about in a second. Second place for Colorado Mesa, and it's his birthday. Let's get loud for Josh one time. Well, Josh, what a better birthday present than to weigh in 13 pounds, 13 ounces here at the national championship. It's been a great week for you. You didn't get it done in California. You had to go all the way to Alabama to get up here, yep. but you're here. You made it to the final day. Yeah, it's been an awesome week. I had a really good day today. Had four pretty early, and uh, the fishing on this lake is uh, really good. I had a lot of fish on and uh, got a lot of bites through practice and uh, during the week, and it's just amazing, these tournaments, these college tournaments, just uh, how much experience you get at them. And uh, you guys just do a phenomenal job at getting us here and uh, putting on quite the show. How'd you catch them? I caught them all on a frog, caught a couple on a spook, and a couple on a jig. Okay. Any other keys this week, how you found them or anything like that to help these folks catch some bass out here? Yeah, I found a group of fish in Bemidji Lake that, uh, that I didn't see anybody around and uh, had that all to myself and unfortunately lost some really big fish out of it uh, the first day. Um, so, uh, but that, that was about the only thing that I figured out that was different. The rest of it is doing everything else that everybody else is doing, fishing the rice, fishing the pads, frogging it, and just having a lot of fun. So who out there got you here? Who do you want to say hey to? Thanks to. I just want to say thank you to all my family with all their support. I uh, just really felt it this week with them. Uh, it's just been an amazing week. Just all the texts from all my buddies back home. Just want to uh, give a big shout out to Enigma Rods. Uh, I used their rods this week to haul those fish out of the heavy cover, and that tough line braid held up. Oh, and not, a, not a much better birthday present, I wouldn't think. I don't think so unless we make that top four, which is looking a little slim. You might get it done. Let's hear it one more time for Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Good job. Second place right now. What's going on? Got a few more left. Brian, how you feeling? Hot. Well, it is called the hot seat. I mean, we can chat as long as we want. Well, they are ready. Okay. We sent them on up early. All right, let's welcome them out. Chico State. Step over here, guys. Five in there. 25-5 through two days. 14 pounds, three ounces will unseat Bethel. This is Tyler Fireball and Chad Schweitzer. Shannon wants me to call you Fireball. We are looking for 14-3. New leaders, 15 pounds, three ounces for Chico. Took home that victory earlier this year down up in Lake Shasta, Northern California. They're trying to take home another victory here at this national championship. Let's hear for Tyler and Chad, new leaders, 40 pounds, 8 ounces. You know, I didn't get to properly intro you. I was messing with people on the hot seat, but uh, hey, it worked out. I mean, I'm sure you guys don't care because right now, next to your name reads first place. Chad, what's, uh, what you, what's, what's your feelings? What's going on right now? It's awesome that first place is way ahead, but that bracket cut is what matters right now. And Tyler, it's all good. Tyler, how'd you guys catch them? You guys had a great day today, one of the first few limits out there. 
Well, being with how tough it was and how much pressure there was, we did what California guys know best, and we slowed way down, fished off a little bit. So we were throwing uh, weightless plastics, drop shot and brush hogs, just everything we know we felt comfortable fishing this week. So. I was going to say, leave it to a California team to throw a drop shot. What? I said, leave it to a California team to throw a drop shot. Yeah, we're actually throwing something that I've never, this is the first week I've ever thrown a weightless Yamamoto flapping hog, and I'd let it sit 30, 40, 60 seconds, and then the line would start moving, it'd be a fish. Wow. So that was, any other keys this week, how you guys found them? We fished super efficient, we'd hit a tree, we'd leave, we'd hit that tree again. We caught five of our, five keepers off one tree today. We ended up culling one out at the end of the day, but the majority of our fish this week came off one tree. Yeah. Is, is it your boat, Tyler, or is it your boat, Chad? So here's what I like to point out. They don't have, they don't have the fence. A lot of our guys do have a, a, a high-dollar rig. They've got a Bass Tracker, you know, one of our Bass Pro brands, a 75-horse motor, and it did got the job done this week. This was, this was made for that boat. We're running in one foot of water. We can't even run in it. So we were keeping up with the 250s today. It was awesome. Yeah, it was. I'm sure it was. I'm sure your gas bill wasn't bad either. We filled up every other day. Yeah, and, and that's like, what, 10 gallons? If that, yeah. All right, Tyler, let's get some thank yous in. Who do you want to say hi to, thanks to? I got to say thanks to all my family members, all the support they gave me, all my friends back home, all the texts and everything, uh, everyone who supported us to get us here, and Cousins Raws. We caught almost all of our fish on those, so thanks a lot, guys. Chad? First and foremost, uh, glory to God. This is everything we do is through him. And uh, second, thank you to my dad. He, it's not my boat, it's his. And Your number one sponsor, right? Mom and dad's. Definitely. And my mom, she, she's actually been my biggest supporter in fishing. All right, guys, we'll take over that hot seat. I know you want to. Let's hear it for Chico sitting in the lead. And one more round of applause for John Garrett and Brian Paul. We'll see where they end up. It's going to be tight. And here comes some of their teammates from Bethel University. Let's welcome up Garrett Enders and Cody Huff. 25 pounds, 8 ounces, through two days. Four fish in there. These are four good ones. They need to go 15 pounds in an ounce. Excuse me, they have five in here. Checking those. Make sure you got all of them in there. Looking for 15 pounds in an ounce with these five. Thirteen pounds, thirteen ounces, all the way up to third place for this Bethel team. So that is two Bethel teams inside this top four right now. This team sitting in third place. Garrett Enders and Cody Huff, thirty-nine pounds, five ounces. All right, guys, Cody, step on over, man. Great week for you guys. What was the key? Uh, we fished some offshore grass this week and just a little bit different area, just doing it a little bit different. Now, Garrett, you have won a high school national championship, so uh, not going to take home a college national championship, but you've been on the, a big stage in, in fishing before, and uh, you're not going away anytime soon, it doesn't look like. Yeah, I sure hope not. I hope we come back and qualify next year. That's our goal. So, Key lures this week? Uh, we caught them all on a four-inch Sanko, and we caught some flipping some deeper grass with a big ounce weight. So, so you guys were flipping about the first team that's talked really about flipping. Where were you guys fishing? Uh, we were in Stump. Also, we just we just found one grass flat that had a had a few fish on it, and we just had a queen tackle ounce weight, and we just we just pitched that deep grass all day. And Garrett, you're a sophomore, right? Yes, sir. Sophomore. What about you, Cody? Sophomore. You guys are definitely going to be around for a while, Garrett. Let's get some thank yous in. Who do you want to say hi to? Thanks to. Yeah, I'd just like to thank my parents, especially my dad. He came with me this week, and I'd like to thank uh, the good Lord above for helping us to catch what we caught this week, and I'd like to thank all my friends and family watching back home. Cody? Yes, sir. We'd just like to thank the good Lord for getting us where he did. I'd like to thank my parents for coming up here and our coach for getting us here, and just thanks to everybody that supports us. Cody, Garrett, let's hear for these guys. Third place right now. We'll see where they end up. All right, we are down to our final three teams. 
And Bemidji, let's get loud because here they come from BSU. Let's get loud for the Swansons, Thor and Mitch. All right, guys, right up here in the middle, 11th place right now. Need 13 pounds, 2 ounces to take over the lead. 5 pounds, 14 ounces, jumps you up to 8th place, guys. We're going to let you hold them up, though. And I need you, Bemidji, Minnesota, to cheer for them and let you know how proud you are of them. And how awesome of a championship this has been. Thor and Mitch Swanson, Bemidji State University. Eighth place, 33 pounds, 5 ounces. You know, I mean, Thor Step Over, it, it, it took, we started, uh, Bass was founded in 1967. It took until 2006 for our local to win the Bassmaster Classic. That was Boyd Duckett. The point I'm getting there with that is it is very hard to win a tournament, let alone a championship on your home waters. Yeah, we didn't really plan on winning this week. I mean, obviously, you know, first is as good as fourth in this one. But I think our biggest downfall this week was prior knowledge on the lake. Um, a lot of people caught them on trees today, and we didn't expect that stuff to hold up for even through practice. So we kind of ruled that stuff out right away, and we shouldn't have. Um, we had an area all to ourselves, and we thought it would hold up. And I don't know what happened today, but it didn't. Still, I mean, uh, Mitch, you guys standing on this stage. You obviously have a huge support base. I mean, uh, just what's going through your head right now? Uh, I'm just glad that everybody came out. I was not expecting this many people to show up. I was, I'm blown away how many people are here. Maybe this will give you a, go to the president's office and say, give us a little more travel budget for next year. You know, that might be uh, worth it. And that's the plan. I hope they're here right now because this is amazing. There's a lot of people here. This is really cool. All right, so who do you want to recognize and thank out here? I uh, really want to say a big thanks to my parents. Um, they're the reason why we can do what we do out here. And uh, also to the rest of our family that came, Carmen, hi, uh, and then our sponsors that help us out on the team. Mitch. Uh, parents. Uh, especially my dad for letting us use this boat this week. That was fun. Uh, my grandparents, my girlfriend, her parents showing up, uh, the town, and then our school as well. And, and you guys. Well, we appreciate you guys. And he broke his arm, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, I broke my hand three weeks ago jumping out of the boat. So don't do that. But he didn't let it slow him down. That's how bad he wanted to, to do well here. Let's hear it for the Swansons, your hometown school. Good job, guys. Well, guys, we are through at 10. Two to go. Well, more like one to go, and then we can congratulate first place. You don't know that. We're not, shh, we're not supposed to say stuff like that. We don't know that. What's going through your head, Tyler? My heart's racing. I don't even know what to think. Any of these guys could have sacked him today and knocked us out, so we'll see. I mean, uh, just, I mean... Again, look at this crowd out here. Crowd's great. This is the biggest crowd we've ever seen. We don't get this out west, so this is awesome for us. Yeah, we're going to say you guys need to use this to help recruit more anglers out west. Well, anybody you didn't thank or say hi to? Yeah. John John, my little brother, he gave me a tip before the tournament. He's like, use a red line Senko. And, and uh, I had to change it to orange, but it, we caught all our fish on that. That's awesome. Nice. Good deal. I'm sure he... Uh, appreciates that all right let's welcome out the next team we are down to the final two and they are from Bethel University comes Cole Floyd and Carter McNeil 29 pounds 13 ounces through two days if you followed the blog you know they have a good bag of fish five fish in their bag if it goes 10 pounds 12 ounces they're gonna unseat Chico Looking for 10, 12. New leaders, 15 pounds, 7 ounces. And that puts three teams of the top four from Bethel University in this tournament. Let's hear for Cole and Carter. Good job, guys. 45-4 is your three-day total. Shake hands with Chico. Let's hear it one more time for Chad and Tyler representing the West Coast. Good job, guys. Cole, man, let's go through your head. Oh, man. Uh, well, 
later in the day, uh, we caught we caught our fifth fish, and uh, we're hoping the leaders are going to slip a little bit because we're five by, five pounds behind, and uh, we're hoping to come in here and win. But I don't know if we got it or not. It's going to be very close, Carter. Uh, yeah, they got a they got a good jump on us though. But we were in the same area today, and so we kind of knew what was going on. But it ought to be interesting. I mean, uh, check this out. I mean, you guys could be holding these uh, this, these trophies up in front of this huge crowd in just a few moments. Yeah, it'd be nice, but I don't think we're going to get our hopes up about it. You don't know that yet. Cole, how old are you? What year are you in school? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be a junior, and I'm 20 years old. Carter? Uh, I'm going to be a junior, and I'm 20 as well. Major? Uh, business management. Major? Same, business management. All right, so let's talk about Bethel, uh, hosted our national championship. Right now, three of the teams – that were in this top 12 are sitting inside the top four. I mean, you guys just continue. You won the classic bracket last year with John Garrett, so you continue to be a powerhouse. Yeah, we got a bunch of great anglers on our team. Uh, it's awesome to have three of us in the top 12, and I think two of us are going to make it. Yeah, it's looking like that, Carter. I mean, again, just I don't know if Gary Mason could be called the – I'm going to call you the Bear Bryant of, of fishing for the Alabama reference, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we'll call Keen the Nick Saban of bass fishing. Notice the two Alabama references. That's where I went to school to point that out. Yeah, I think there's a little rival between them two. So, looks like I don't know. We'll see what happens. What, all right. Who do we want to say hi to? Thanks to uh, friends and family that are out here supporting us and the ones back home watching. I want to thank the good Lord for this opportunity, giving it to us. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to thank my mom, and my girlfriend, for coming all the way up here and watching us. Uh, I mean, look at this crowd. This is awesome. Uh, but Miji's been great, haven't they? Oh, yeah, this is crazy. I mean, all the way up here north and all these people coming out, you wouldn't really expect it all the way up here. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Bass and all the sponsors uh, for getting us out here. And I don't know. We'll, I don't think we got it, but we'll see. Weather's been great. I mean, we couldn't have really asked for a better championship. No, nah, it's, it's been pretty out there, and the fishing has been fair. I mean, it was, it was a little tough, but that's how we like it. But uh, it produced good bags. It's a great place. All right, guys, well, the one thing you're going to do is you're not going to take over the hot seat. You're going to stand right here. And that means we're down to our final team. But, Mizzy, are you ready? I mean, this is an important deal. We're about to hand out these two trophies. We're about to hand out $5,000 to the school who wins this tournament. So I'll ask you again, but, Mizzy, are you ready? Here they come. They were in the lead. On day number one, they were in the lead on day number two, and they're from the school on the other side of Tennessee that's offering scholarships. It's Bryan College, Jacob Fouts, and Jake Lee. Guys, right here in the middle, everybody get close. You guys have five in your bag. You need 10 pounds, 11 ounces. If it's anything lighter, Bethel has it. Looking for 10, 11. 15 pounds, five ounces. Reach in there, guys. Hold those fish up. And that means that Brian's going to go wire to wire. Let's hear for this freshman team, Jacob and Jake. All right, we're going to talk in a minute, but while the emotion is high, Bemidji, you guys are ready. I'm going to welcome out from Carhartt, John James, and he's got a little presentation for you guys. We'll grab the trophy. Guys, fantastic job. First and foremost, congratulations. Job well done and outworking them all. I want to present you guys with a little hardware this week for a job. Again, job well done. Many miles traveled, a lot of water fished, hours put in, time on the water. But again, you guys did an incredible job. So let's hear it for it for these guys out working them all. All right, but Mizzy, I'm going to officially introduce you, and I need you to scream when I do this. Your 2017 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Champions, presented by Bass Pro Shops, Bryan College, Jacob Fouts, and Jake Lee, going wire to wire to take home that trophy. And guys, as if it gets just a little bit sweeter, John with Carhartt has got one more item for you. It's always nice to pad those pockets with a little travel expenses. So again, guys, this will help offset some of your costs and let you do it again. Spin around. 
Now hold it down. Hold it down right here. Just down right there. Hold it under your trophy. Let's keep that round of applause going for this team, a freshman team, their first year in college, and they're going to take home that trophy. And we always have to do two takes because I'm not as good on the first take, so I'm going to do it one more time. Your 2017 Carhartt Bassmaster College Series National Champions from Bryan College, Jacob Fouts and Jake Lee. Let's set that right here for now. Step over here, guys. Today wasn't easy. You guys got off to a little slow start. And, uh, Jake, did you think it had slipped away? Oh, man, it was just, there was a peace about us all week. And we we knew it was all in God's hands. And uh, just whatever happened after that happened. And uh, that's, that's all you can do in these deals. Jacob, hold on to that tight because guess what? That is yours to keep forever. How's that feel? This feels amazing. This is what we worked for all year long to be able to come here and get it done. It, it feels great. Keys this week, Jake. Uh, man, we've been fishing in Lake Irving, and uh, we've just been making laps around it. And I'll tell you, I thought we was going to run out of fish because, I mean, it was it's such a tiny lake, man. And uh, it's like I just kept coming back to us every day. It was just our turn to win, and uh, when it's like that, there ain't nothing going to stop you. Key, key lures? Uh, yeah, we had a one-two punch. Uh, he caught several fish on a frog, and uh, after the stop biting a frog, we went to flipping a tube under docks and to be able to catch a couple big ones. Let's get some thank yous in. Um, I'd like to thank God more than anything. All the glory goes to him, and uh, I'd like to thank Coach Keen for bringing stuff here. I don't appreciate that Nick Saban comment. He's more like a Johnny Majors, Philip Former type. And uh, Tennessee, Alabama battle. And uh, and uh, my parents drove up last night and. Uh, my high school coach helped me out a lot getting here, and uh, just everybody at home watching. Jacob. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, none of this would be possible without him. Uh, I'd also like to thank all my friends, family, watching back home. We couldn't be here without you guys. And this is how awesome fishing is in Tennessee, especially with college fishing all over the place. These kids are going scholarship for this, and I'm going to bring out their head coaches. Coach Mike King, come on out, guys. I know you want to be out here. Give your team. Y'all celebrate. Let's get a quick picture, guys. Step up right there. We're going to bring out the top five for pictures. So don't go anywhere, Bemidji, real fast. We're going to award some, some prizes. I do want to talk to Coach Keen real fast, though. So what, it's been three years, four years with your program? This is our third year of competition. Third year, and you're taking on that hardware. How's that feel? Oh, that, that feels so great. That's the, the consummation of what we've been trying to put together. And I mean, it couldn't have happened in front of a larger crowd and a, just a fantastic championship. It's a great crowd, and, and there's so many people that have helped us get there. <laughs> Gary Mason is one of them. Uh, I burned his phone up. He helped us get this program started, and I appreciate it. And it's awesome just uh, the support you have at the college and that they believe in, these, in this program. Their college supports us tremendously. I can't say enough about Bryan College and how they've helped us do what we do and, and help finance us to get around. And they're as excited, I'm sure, right now at home as we are. That's two, an Eastern Conference Regional Championship that uh, – Nathan and Cole won, and uh, now this team's taking on the big trophy all the way back to the shores of Lake Chickamauga. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's been the great thing. It hasn't been just one individual. You know, we've, we've had other folks step up. I'm proud of the entire team. This week it was this guy's turn, and I'm really proud of him. The hardware's going home. Go backstage and celebrate. Let's hear it one more time for your national champions. We're going to bring up... I got one more thank you. That man right there let us catch a four-pounder off his dock today while he was standing on it. I, I really appreciate it. That might have been the winning fish. You watched it happen. Yeah, he said he gets half the money. Unfortunately, that's payable to the school and not the individual. So good job, guys. All right, we're going to bring up fifth through fourth. So let's welcome them up. Bethel University, fifth place, Garrett Enders and Cody Huff. Come on up, guys. A sophomore team, 39 pounds, five ounces. Right over there, guys. Also, we'll receive 
$1,000 to the Bethel fishing team. Fourth place with that 15-pound bag today. Brian Paul and John Garrett, also from Bethel University. Come on up, guys. You'll receive 1500 bucks to the Bethel fishing team and an invitation to the classic bracket. The top four teams are going to move on to the classic bracket after this to a Location still to be determined to determine that classic angler. Congratulations, guys. Third place, Chico State, West Coast. Tyler Firebaugh and Chad Schweitzer, 40 pounds and 8 ounces. Also took home that Western Conference Regional earlier this year. $1,500 to uh, their fishing team as well. Let's hear for those guys and an invitation to our classic bracket. And the second place team from Bethel University. 45 pounds, 4 ounces, 15.7 today. Cole Floyd and Carter McNeil. $2,500 to that Bethel team. And there they go. They also get some rods via Abu Garcia. We need to bring Jake and uh, Jacob back up. They're going to receive some Shimano reels, but congratulations, guys, on those. So they get reels and rods? Yep. You get goodies still. Step on out real quick. We'll get a picture of these. More goodies. There you go. Good job, guys. And that, as they're taking those pictures, is going to wrap us up, Bemidji. We'll make the numbers official, but thank you guys so much for what we think is a record-setting national championship. You guys have been absolutely fantastic for this event, and we certainly thank you. Thank you to all the friends and families who traveled with their teams to this point. It has been a fantastic year. And we are looking forward to the 2018 season. We are going to take the top four teams to another lake here in Minnesota. They're going to battle it out head-to-head -head for a classic berth. But this is what it was all for, those big trophies right there that Bryan College is taking home. For the entire Bass staff, thank you to our host, Bemidji State University. Visit Bemidji. I want to recognize Chris Haley, Mike Mori, Susan Gooch, Nate Matthews, Marsha, all the fine folks here at the waterfront. We appreciate you guys letting us take over everything, and we could not have done it without you. Thank you all our fine sponsors for a fantastic year. For the JM crew, the Bass staff, John Stewart, I'm Hank Weldon. We'll see you guys in 2018.